Hi everyone, welcome to Northern Zen Yoga. My name is Sandra and today I'm going to talk to you about how to modify Warrior 3. Now balancing postures are always a challenge but they have so many benefits to them the main one being to increase our flexibility and balance so that when we do happen to lose it and fall that we don't injure ourselves quite as severely as we could if we were less flexible and had less balance. So looking at the balancing postures often is very, very intimidating. So what I'd like to show you is how you can begin to learn how to do Warrior 3 by using a chair to help you balance. So here I have just a regular kitchen chair. You can use any kind of chair you like for this particular movement, but I always recommend to have a very firm stable chair. Kitchen chairs are usually the best because they are, um, no, they don't take up a lot of space. They're easy to move around to wherever it's convenient for you, but also they're very stable. So let's have a look at Warrior 3. We're going to begin with the right foot. I'm just going to place my right foot down onto the floor and I'm going to reach out and I'm just going to see that if I tip over I can place my hands onto the seat of the chair. So I don't want to be back too far and at the same time I don't want to be so close that I could grab the back of the chair. Although if you find touching down on the seat of the chair is too difficult, if that is too far for you to have to bend over to do this particular practice, you can use the back of the chair and I'm going to show you both ways. So first of all, let's just assume that we are able to touch down, to bend down and touch down onto the seat of the chair. So I'm going to place my foot, my right foot, nice and firm and pointing it in the direction of the chair. And I'm going to lean down and I'm going to place both hands firmly on the seat. Now you can either just place your hands into the seat or if you like you can grab the sides of the seat, whichever helps you to feel more comfortable. I'm going to bring my knee up toward my chest and I'm going to tip myself a little more forward and then I'm going to push my heel back. I'm pushing my heel back, pushing my heel back and I'm going to bend my knee here just slightly and raise my leg up toward the ceiling as high as I can comfortably do it and not start to tip forward and start to do one of these things. Instead, we're looking for that nice level from the back to the heel to your head kind of position. Once you're here, then you can start to see if you can let go of the chair. And then you just try to practice this and try to see how much longer you can stay with hands off the chair balancing on one leg. So we're going to switch sides. I'm going to bring my left leg forward. I'm going to plant my foot down and I'm going to find the space where I can drop my hands comfortably down to the seat but I'm not too close and I'm not too far away. I'm going to bring my knee up toward my chest. I'm going to push my heel out and I'm going to try to make sure I'm not lifting up my hip. I'm trying to keep my back nice and flat. I'm leaning into the chair and when I feel ready, I'm going to come up to a position where I'm going to try to find my balance here. Now, it takes a little bit of time to get to the place where you can actually let go of the chair. You'll know, you'll feel very strong, you'll feel very stable, you won't feel like you're going to lose it as soon as you let go. And once you do, let go for just a few seconds. Just even come up onto your fingertips and lift the fingertips up. One of the tricks to balancing is focusing. So even though you're looking at the back of your chair, focus your attention to a spot on the chair. And this will help you also to find your stability. So say for example, <clears throat> at this point I'm going to decide, well, you know what? reaching down to the seat of that chair is still not very convenient or easy for me to do. So I'm going to show you briefly what you can do. As long as you have 
a chair that doesn't have a really, really high back. It should be not much more than a couple of uh, feet off from the seat of the chair at the most. So just like before, we'll begin on the right side. I'm going to get just a little bit closer now to the chair. Now one of the things you need to be aware of is that you are not putting your weight this way so that you're going to tip the chair. If you find that that is happening as soon as you start to touch the chair, you're going to flip the chair around. By flipping the chair around, now you've got a little bit more stability, a little bit more weight to the opposite side of the weight you are pushing into. But try not to push away into the chair. Instead, try to push down into the chair. So I'm putting my right foot forward. I've got my fingertips touching the back of the chair. And now I'm lifting my leg up as I tip my head down. Bend my knee just a little bit to help support and watch you're not lifting the leg up to the side. Try to keep your toes touching down to the mat. Toes, toes are pointed to the mat, heels pointed to the ceiling, and I'm just bending down. And even if you have a chair like I do with a little bit of rungs in it, you can see if you can start to lean down a little bit into that position. We're going to switch sides now. Hands are on the chair. I'm going to start to bring my foot up, push it back, straighten it out, bend this knee just a little bit as you lift the back leg up toward the ceiling. Make sure you're feeling very stable and then drop back down again. With the chair, Warrior 3 becomes very doable. It's great exercise. It gives some strength um, to the legs helps you to build stability into your feet. But one of the main things you have to think about before you begin any balance exercise is to really create a good foot plant. So by doing a foot plant, you will be able to find a lot more stability. A foot plant is basically drop your heel down, spread your toes out, drop the toes down into the floor and then grip the floor You'll feel the muscles in your legs start to tighten up. And then once you've got to that position, just see if you can just take one foot off the floor or even just come up onto your big toe. By doing this exercise, the foot plant exercise, you will also help to build stability. I hope this helped. Practice it, Warrior Three. You can try to do this particular balancing posture without a chair, maybe just using a block. Bye for now. This has been Sandra, Northern Zen Yoga.